Hello, boys and girls. My name is Alzuzi, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, here in my uh, series, uh, last time we uh, lined up quite a bit of uh, work, piping work uh, for our duplicants to build. We also managed to uh, crash this uh, metal refinery once again but uh, we dug out down here to get our hands on a bit of diamond and it will become apparent what we need them for in this episode we also started at the project of having a proper uh, metal refinery uh, set up up here uh, that's what we need the piping for because we need a bit of uh, of oil up here for, for cooling uh, but when this is set up and uh, uh, properly uh, working um, we should uh, not have the problems uh, down below uh, with overheating constantly uh, so these things are built out of copper which I believe is fine um, I need a bit of uh, wiring so this goes here and this goes there and this setup is uh, or let's have a look down here um, where we have a simple cooling loop which cannot hold uh, very much uh, liquid and this is a uh, bit problematic because you need uh, to have enough space in your loop so that the, the hot fluid from from the machinery can flow out and cool down but what we have up here is we have a liquid reservoir so uh, this uh, uh, functions as a buffer uh, so we have enough room in the in the pipe and not running into problem uh, that the uh, the hot liquid uh, cannot get out of the machine to be cooled down. So while they are building this up here. Um, we can continue planning this out. So we need a uh, went here. We need um, need do we need well to get a buffer gate I think um, goes right next to it and then we have uh, a thermal sensor um, have to make this out of steel, unfortunately. Um, the buffer gate, yeah. Let's make that also out of steel. Uh, because I don't want um, 
these components to overheat, uh, that we would have to go in here and repair it. That's not how we want to do this. And then... We need temp shift plates and they are made out of diamonds. One, two, three. Continue with the piping over here and up here, and in this room, uh, it will be cooled down. Uh, let's do a bit of, of a wiggle and then. It will go into the reservoir and it will cycle around here as long as it is too hot. And it will probably take a bit uh, until uh, we get this built. Um, Gas pump. Shit. Went it out over here. Um, then we need a bit of electricity. Small transformer and make that iron. And that will power the pump. Here, so we can fill this uh, this gap here with water. Oh, it will take a bit uh, until they will manage, and uh, we need neither bristle blossoms nor brine, so. Uh, Acknowledge that our reservoir here is full, as are our batteries, so none of our uh, generators are running, and we have created a bit of uh, polluted water down here. Okay, they are making a bit of, uh, of progress, well, it will probably take a while until everything is finished, uh, especially the, the piping will take its, its sweet time, but 
as long as we are making progress um, this should be should be okay in other areas uh, calories are still rising so we could even think about adding more duplicants we have set this up here so let's try clean out here on this side a bit uh, how are we looking uh, with uh, water-wise? Um, I think we can break this pipe here. We will need this pipe uh, because eventually we will convert this into hydroponic farms which require a water pipe running through. Uh, Let's break this pipe. Um, it's always uh, bad if you have um, a, a liquid loop um, that's fed from uh, from multiple sides. And this way we can have the uh, water going up here and over to this side and through up. To this side. It will work out nicely, I think. Or at least I hope. Okay, they have managed to build that, which means we can place our bottle amp here over here. lock here on this side So it is not overheating. But of course that also needs to be in a vacuum so that we do not have this kind of problems. Um, then here on this side we need uh, power we will make it this way And we shall have, 
isolated tiles down here. Okay, this one needs power. So let's give it power. This one will be above 158 degrees and this one will be above 160 degrees. So there's a 2 degree uh, difference between these two. and this should help with the, uh, the cooling down of the liquid. So the liquid comes out from here and crosses over, goes in here. And if it is below 160, it directly goes into the tank, from the tank out again. If it is below uh, 158, it goes back down into the machine, otherwise it goes into the cooling loop. If it is above 160, it also goes into the cooling loop. Um, the cooling loop we still have to set up. This side, um, this room will be three high. this gap here there's still quite a bit of pipe that needs to be built but we're getting there and down here you can see uh, Magnum on the on the lowest level. So at least we reached the uh, the bottom. Um, let's see. Have we overlooked something? I think we did not go too much further exploring. Here is uh, the other gas geyser. And down here is our cool water solution. Uh, I think this one is another warm water. And what Ooh, that's quite a big cold biome. What I would like to see is a volcano. A metal volcano. 
preferably iron. But it... Yeah, you managed it. You have built yourself in, so... I priority on this ladder here. It had to happen. No question about it. Um, then here we also have uh, to get that vacuum. So same setup. can do it! Um, okay. We'll cancel the ladder. And we will just dig it out. Nice. Okay. And here we can connect the pipe and cancel this one. to have uh, water and enable auto bottling and also off the priority bit so gets done then we have something new down here it's nice as you yeah take that um, and we will give that to max down here but as the way I connected the, the power wiring I cannot yet connect this one otherwise this pump might turn on while we have not yet the, the water lock in place and we also need to, uh, to finish the walls here One thing at a time. But we are getting there. Yeah, got a bit more uh, liquid or polluted water in here. Um, looks like we have a thin water film on top. That's why it looks a bit uh, weird. Like we have one full tile, uh, but down below we only have uh, roughly uh, uh, 50 kilograms of polluted water. So that will do for today. Tune in next time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included. See you then. Goodbye.